feasible consumption and production in the post-2015 agenda. So I'm Gankisha, the founder of Greenhope, and from Greenhope today we have Rita, Sneha, and Pratna. And we are so excited to be talking to all of you today about what you can do to protect our environment. There are four pictures over here, which shows us a possible future if we don't act now. We have a tree stump, the earth melting, the earth surrounded by litter, and people begging for food because they are starving. Is this the kind of future you want? No. So, this is why we the children and youth must act now. And we're going to give you facts and about why we should do this and how you can help protect the environment. The theme for 2013 World Environment Day was Think, Eat, Save. Reduce your footprint. It sought to bring the world's attention on the tremendous amount of resource inefficiency and wastage. Isn't it time to stop this waste? So think, eat, save. Reduce your food wastage. Reduce your footprint. So, upcycling is very different from recycling. These are two different processes which confuse people a lot. And upcycling is kind of a new thing. But we're going to talk to you about its differences and its benefits. Upcycling is different from recycling. Recycling is the process of changing, discarding materials into new products to prevent waste. Upcycling is the practice of converting waste materials or useless materials into new materials or products of higher quality and value than the original. Upcycling, for instance, allows to transform garbage and toxic waste into resources moving then up in the supply chain. The opportunities to upcycle materials and toxics is everywhere and takes many shapes. So, our Earth's resources are limited. However, with development, our consumption has increased greatly and we face the risk of running out of resources. This means that we're taking too much from the Earth, way more than what the Earth can actually give us. And this has become a huge problem right now because the Earth cannot sustain us anymore. One very important thing for everyone is to segregate your waste for recycling so that it does not get mixed up in the factory and it's easy for everyone to sort it out and recycle. Use the compost as fertilizer for growing your crops and be plastic free. And by that you can easily use the upcycle by degradable bags or juice bags. Just try not to use plastic because it is really bad for our environment. And in doing all of this, you actually follow a zero waste policy. Find things on your chart paper. Please use the markers on your table, and you will be given ten minutes for this activity. Your time starts now. Your poster about your group? 